<clears throat> People keep sending me lots of stuff. Like packaging these days. So Freewell have sent me another set of filters. I've been quite looking forward to receiving these actually. Uh, the wide angle and anamorphic lens filter kit. So that's what today's video is all about. Let's get out and test these. Take off, the home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, so um, this is the normal lens. Let's start recording. I just want to take a little bit of video and a quick snapshot of where we're at. For some reason it's not letting me into the mat. Ah, oh, there we go. My fingers. Okay, that's showing us where we are. Right in the middle of a field. Okay. <clears throat> Have a bit more of a fly around when we get that wide angle lens on. Flying with the iPhone today, as my controller is still with DJI. As I'm sure some of you still know, the good news is they received it and they're offering me a free repair. But I'm expecting a replacement. Right. So before I actually show you the difference in the wide angle lens, I don't know if you can see this, the, uh, the wide angle lens field of view is 111 degrees on the Freewell ones, as opposed to 101 degrees on the DJI ones, which have been out for a fair time now. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Try and fly down the same line so we can get in the right place where we was. I think it was just about there. Apologies for the wind. It didn't um, it didn't forecast this. Anyway. So I decided to fit the ND filter onto the wide angle lens. Now Freewell say that you can change the filters whilst the drone is on but i'm not too sure um as you'll see in one moment gimbal motor overload and you can see it's bobbling around uh, my advice is that you turn the drone off to put nd filters on um, they are quite fiddly and i'll show you in this little clip just here so you can see uh, the drone's not turned on here but you can see they are quite fiddly to get on now, if that drone's on, that's putting a lot of pressure on that gimbal. My advice is turn it off before you put them on. Just take him up. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. With this new feature now, you can, as you can see, put it in auto, ISO or shutter. And that's with the the ND filter on. Now the anamorphic lens, just try and get you a bit of a close-up of that one. 
not that you can see it in this light but uh, this offers uh, not only a decompression and a de-squeeze of 1.1.9x but it also offers a lens flare and you can see in this clip just here it's quite subtle so it's not overpowering unfortunately with today's weather i didn't get any direct sunlight as such so i couldn't actually show that in the clips but as you just saw in that little clip from outside with my car headlights and the street lamps you can see that little blue lens flare that you get with these filters I personally think they're, they're very good. The, the only one thing that you have to be careful of is when you fit in the, the ND filters to either the wide angle or the anamorphic lens is that gimbal error, uh, the uh, overload. So we have to be careful with that. Although you see what Freewell are saying, I don't know if we can see this, I'll just bring it up for you there. What they're saying is, is that you must fit the ND filter afterwards because of the gim gimbal calibration because it, it can hit the top of the drone so uh, just be aware of that it's one of the things that I think you've got to be careful with they are a little bit fiddly like say snapping them on and off if you've uh, got some use out of the video uh, don't forget give us a thumbs up and if you're new around here and you like the Mini 3 content then uh, why don't you consider subscribing and uh, dinging the dong and all the rest of it that goes with it thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video